Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. This is a video inside of Stampy's lovely world, and today in this video, I am going to be joined by my good friend, Mr. Anki Poodles. Hello, Ank, good morning, welcome to the video. How are you doing today, you okay? Jolly good, and I am also going to be joined by Amy Lee, and here she is, <laughs> sneaking up behind me trying to celebrate, celebrate, surprise me, how are you doing, you okay, oh you got me a flower, how lovely, what a nice way to start the video, sadly though, can you see what's missing, can you tell what normally happens round about now, but isn't, normally we have a happy looking bear bounding into my room, giving me cake, uh, but Lee's not here today, Elf Elfa Lee is not going to be in a video for like one of the first times in ever, so that's really sad. Shall I, shall I make one? Shall I make a replacement Elfa Lee? Um, there's no reason why he's not in, he's just he's just not home right now, so um, unfortunately we had to do the video without him. So I'm going to make a, uh, a temporary replacement bear. Um, if I do, I can do some levers for some arms, and then I can, I can use a button for like his little button nose, and then I can put some cake in front of him, and then I can pretend like he just came in and gave me the cake. <laughs> this will just have to do, it won't be the same, it won't be the real one, but uh, this will just have to do for now. So if I get a little button here, uh, if I put down uh, two blocks, there we go, <laughs> there's Lee. It uh, looks like he's have it, uh, had a few too many of the cakes himself. Uh, here's his nose, I can use that, there we go. <laughs> and then here are his arms. Oh, it looks just like the real- Oh, you can hardly even tell the difference, can you? It looks just like the real one. <laughs> Are you going to put down a sign just saying, oh, is that, is that is like his patch on his belly? To be fair, it looks a bit more like a brown penguin rather than a bear. And uh, here we go, i got some cake on me. So, should we do this again? Should we start the- You guys go out the room. Let's start the video again and let's just pretend like everything's normal, okay? Right, here we go. Ba back to my corner. This is what I do at the start of all my videos. Shut the door. I don't want a draft coming in. Or a giraffe coming in. Right. Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, a video inside my lovely world, yada yada yada. I'm going to be joined by Elfa Lee, and here he is, and look, he's brought me my breakfast. Thank you very much for that, Lee. Let me shake your hand. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I'm also joined by Amy and Hank, and Hank, you're not as happy as you were last time. You've lost your enthusiasm. Anyway, we should probably get something done, shouldn't we? As much as I'd like to spend the entire time joking around, are you just sad because Lee's not here? I miss him too. What we need to do, Ank, do you want to go and gather up Lee and you can go and build him where we're, where we're going to be playing and then that way we can always have him with us and it'll be like he's there. He can be judging us with our game. Anyway, look, it's like two minutes, almost three minutes into the video and I've not even done my love garden yet. I am terribly behind schedule, but it doesn't matter. Today I'm going to be adding Karma 1920. And uh, the reason I'm adding her is because she drew me an absolutely amazing picture. It was <laughs> highly, and um, yeah, she built me, uh, she drew me an amazing picture of Mr. Stampy Cat. And I know I add a lot of people because they send me pictures, and I don't want it to be like. Um, you have to be good at drawing to be added. I don't want, like to add everyone because of fan art, but this just picture was so good. I had to add her to my love garden. So thank you very much, Karma. Uh, she also built a stampy hot bun and sent me pictures of that. And so yeah, there'll be a link to that in the description if you want to see uh, the picture like in its full quality. And uh, also a link to Karma's channel uh, because she has got a YouTube channel with a few videos. If you want to go check her out and say hello from me, say Stampy sent you. <laughs> yeah, so thank you, Karma, and welcome to my love garden. And if you don't know what my love garden is, by the way, uh, it's basically an area where I spread the love. I basically put down a sign and uh, give someone a shout out and say thank you for something. So I don't add people that ask uh, to be added to the love garden because otherwise all the comments are just people asking. But uh, if for like any reason I want to say thank you, uh, then yeah, please go in the love garden. And oh look, this looks like Finball's joined and then immediately left. What scared him off? <laughs> Hopefully we can get Finball back in actually because uh, I do want to tour his house. He's built a house and uh, I've not seen it yet. So I do want to go and uh, check that out. So hopefully he'll be able to get back into the game if uh, someone tries to invite him in. Anyway, time for me to pick a doggy. And who shall I take with me today? You can see there, Lee Mark do. Um, I'm going to be doing lots of green and growing things. I think I'm going to take spring with me. Seeing as plants always grow in the spring, I think I'm going to take spring. And you can tell uh, it's spring over here because he's the one with the spring in his step. Look, look as he runs to me. You can see he kind of jumps a bit as he runs, kind of like like a spring bouncing around. Uh, that's the way I can tell whether it's spring or not. And anyway, in this video, basically what I'm doing is I'm going to be finishing off uh, the lovely jubbly flowers florist. And over here, oh look, here's Lee. Oh, he's got a Russian hat on or something. <laughs> Alright there, Lee, how you 
you doing, buddy? Uh, you've got to give me some cake a little bit later on. Hopefully later on, there's going to be some cake in front of him. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> anyway, you may be wondering what this little fenced off area here is. And this is the Great Green Garden Growing Game 2013. And basically what we're going to do is decide who's going to be the employee of the month at the lovely jubbly flowers. And I'm going to show that off in a second. And so basically what my two competitors have to do is they need to go into each different area. They've got one side each. They've got the same size. And in this chest, you can see a whole bunch of stuff. And what they need to do is they need to grow a load of plants. And don't start yet. Wait till I say. And they need to get all of this stuff. So they need six never warts, six sugar cane, three types of tree, three wheat, three cactus blocks. That is uh, one pumpkin and one melon. And once they got all of that stuff, they need to run up to me, get my attention somehow, and then I'll go and check their chest to see whether they've successfully done it. And play nice, guys. Come on, don't punch each other. This is a friendly game. <laughs> okay, so are you guys ready? Are you ready to begin? Start your planting in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. And because this is quite a long game, and they're probably going to spend a while gardening. Uh, while they're doing that, I'm going to be carrying on building the florist. And they do have bone meal as well, by the way. So uh, it shouldn't take too long. Don't forget to use your bone meal. And uh, I'm going to check back on their progress in a little while. Anyway... Here is lovely jubbly flowers. Let's go inside here. You can see that it's changed a bit. And oh, look, there's some cactus on the floor down there. Um, yeah, so this is basically how it is. We've got pumpkins, we've got melons, sugarcane, never warp, every different type of bonsai tree. We've got the uh, lovely jubbly love love petals and the sun kiss yellow flowers. We've got cacti, we've got lily pads, we've got wheat down there, we've even got some vines and stuff. So yeah, we pretty much got every different type of flower there is. There should be mushrooms as well. Oh look, there's a mushroom. Um, we need the brown one as well. Here we go. Let's just put a, uh, a brown mushroom down there. There we go. Pretty much every different type of flower all for sale. Uh, so what I need to do is carry on building the inside. And uh, you'll see what I've done at the top up here first is I've put a whole load of fences kind of like a canopy and then there's all leaf blocks all around and I think it looks quite cool it looks a lot nicer uh, than what it did used to look like when it's just like a big grey block so yeah all I need to do now is do like a little counter inside here and um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do it so right, let's just make it up as we go along shall we um, what should I do it out of I might use the um the dark wood. What's it called? Is it? It's not oak, is it? What's what's the dark wood called again? Uh, oh well, is this this type of tree here? I might cut down one of these and use these just just for something different. You know that type of wood there. Well, there's, there's oak, birch, and what's the other one called? I always forget. Um, spruce. That's the one. Spruce. <laughs> spruce. Sprouse. Something like that. Yeah. Let, let's use this type of wood. It's it's probably the least famous type of wood there is. And if I do the counter, I might do kind of one that goes like this a bit. And then have just a little till behind there. And then I might have some chests in here and just fill them uh, full of all of the spare flowers. And so what should I do the till? I need some... I need some stone bricks to make the till out of. And how, how's things going on the game? You need to stay in your pens. I suppose, yeah, you can come out to look at the signs. Uh, but apart from that, you need to stay in your pens. Oh, look, they're doing well. Amy's got two full trees already. Uh, Ang seems to be going for the pumpkins and the melons. And he's already got them. They both seem to be doing very well, actually. And it looks like Finball was able to join again as well. So that's jolly good. Uh, in the morning, once we've got a winner, I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to go and uh, have a quick tour of Finball's house because I have no idea what he's been building over over there so I'm quite looking forward uh, to going and going and checking that out and how are you doing Lee are you okay over there <laughs> oh I, I love the new Lee I prefer the old one I mean the old one was a bit more am uh, animated and a bit more exciting but it's kind of funny having that weird Russian looking bear in the corner right so I put a crafting table just behind here for now and I need to make a stone staircase uh, always kind of looks like the best type of teal so that should be uh here there we go, and I put the till. Uh, the till can go. If I put the till there, then I have the little trap door over on this side. So if I just put that down there, then this is where the trap door will be. Um, I just put the crafting table behind here for now. Just I just leave it behind here. I, I could I could just have a crafting table there. It might make it look a bit easier. Um, right, then I need a trap door. And I'm just going to shove this down here. Here's my little flap so I can get in and out. Staff only. This is quite nice and cosy in here. So what I need to do is do a whole load of um, a whole load of chests all over the place. I need something to eat as well. Has Lee got me my cake yet? And hello, Finball. <laughs> Welcome to the shop. Do you want to be my first? First customer, do you want to come in? Should we have a quick tester run? 
Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be behind here. You can come in and you can buy something. What was that you want? Two lovely, jobly, love, love petals. Is that what you want? There you go, mate. <laughs> there we go. That's, that's one iron ingot. That's how much they cost. <laughs> Jolly good. The shop works. And you've got to watch out for the cactuses, by the way. <laughs> Hopefully, um, health and safety don't come and check on me at, at any points. Right, let's go eat up some cape here. Uh, some cape, some cake here. And then, yeah, let's go back in and just add a bunch of chests. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the place with chests. And uh, put them all over the place and then get all of the plants that are sort of um, in that chest over there and just fill them all up here so people can go out here and see what plants they want and then come back in here and actually get them so how can I arrange these let's try and do this fancy if we can I know what to do if I do a double chest on each side down there Oh no, that's not gonna. I know, I know, I don't know what to do. If I do two single chests there, then a double chest there, then two single chests on the top, that will make quite a cool little fancy pattern with all of these chests. And I might uh, put fences in between them all. Might look quite cool. Why did I make a crafting table? Uh, I'm all over the place today, aren't I? Oh well. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just in a good mood today. So hopefully that's coming across in the video. For just some unknown reason, I'm just uh, extra happy today for some reason. Right. So if I do. Uh, if I could do the same here, two chests there, uh, one chest there, like that. There we go. This looks quite cool. I can do another chest there. There we go. This is quite a funky design. What I can do is use all of the plants that they're growing in this game. And uh, that, that's what it could be for. That could be them getting my stock. <laughs> and then that, that's a good way to decide who's the employee of the month. Whoever gets the, the stock quicker. So if I just get all of the... The planty type things from here. Oh, my inventory's full. And go and do it. Oh, have you finished? I oh, know he's not finished. Okay, the way you tell me you're finished is if you come up in front of me and just place down two dirt blocks or something. That can be the way uh, you signify to me that you're finished. And so I'm just going to go in here and fill all of these up. So these can be uh, full of lovely, jubbly, love, love petals. These can be full of the sun kiss stuff. These can be never warp. Up there can be the uh, the red mushrooms. Down here can be the brown mushrooms. Um, here can be melon. Uh, here can be wheat. And I believe I'm going to be running out of chests very soon. I uh, can have some cacti in there. What, what else do we have? Um, let's just see what else is in this chest over here. This is quite cool, actually. I, I quite like my little forest down here. I wasn't kind of sure whether I was going to like it as much as my hot buns. I don't know whether I do, but it is quite cool. Uh, I can get some vines as well and some lily pads. Uh, all, the, all the saplings as well. Get a bunch of saplings. And yeah, that, that, that should be uh, pretty much it. So what I might do, seeing as I uh, have pretty much finished here, um, I might go and check out Finball's house now. Actually, I don't, I don't know. I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna hang around just to see who wins the second that they win. Like I reckon someone's gonna win right about now. The problem is it's gonna be quite difficult because um, I know that uh, it's, no, they're not gonna be growing as much because it's getting dark. So you need to make sure you put like all of your torches all over the place uh, just so it will keep glowing. And does this look okay? Is it, I think I might get rid of these vines here. I kind of like them at first and they do kind of make sense, but it sort of, I don't know, makes the whole place look a bit old and sort of moldy looking. But I think this is nice. This is quite a nice little cute place down here. I can just sit down here behind my till. <laughs> right, let, let's see how they're doing that. Oh, I need a door. That's something that I've been missing. I can put a door on the front here. That's something that I can add in. And then it's finished. Look at this. I'm actually like ahead of time for a video. I've actually finished what I wanted to build in a video. <laughs> it's an absolute rarity. And how are people doing? Okay, what have they got? So it looks like um, it looks like Anchor's only got his spruce tree, uh, but he's got he's got probably just about enough sugar cane. I think he needs one more sugar cane. Uh, he's got his oak tree growing there. He's got his pumpkin, he's got his melon, he needs one more cactus block, and he think he needs uh, probably a bit more wheat. And oh no, he's lagged out! Okay, Amy, stop, stop doing things! We, you need to wait until Anchor's able to join back into the game. Freeze, you're not allowed to move for now. <laughs> Someone needs to try and invite Ank back into the game if you can, and then we can carry on. This is kind of fair though, uh, because if you remember, when we did the crunch and chew cake consuming competition 2013, uh, Lee did actually lag out the game, uh, which gave Ank a bit of an advantage. So it's kind of, it's kind of like karma now that he's lagged out and, um, yeah, so it should kind of make it uh, a bit more fair overall. So Amy probably does have a bit more chance. And to be fair, everything is still kind of growing. Even though he's not here, like, 
the game is kind of carrying on without him. He's already done the planting and things are still going to be growing. So uh, I reckon that they're probably quite close. Let's look in their chest. Okay, looks like Amy hasn't put anything in the chest yet. Uh, Lee, oh, Lee's already got all the wheat that he needs. And so he is very almost there. This is very close. So someone needs to get him back into the game if you can. Uh, let me try and invite him. Is he still online? Let's see if I can invite him back in. Um, no, no, he hasn't lagged offline, has he? Oh, yeah, here he is. Here he is. I've invited him back into the game and the party. So hopefully uh, he is going to be uh, able to join back in soon. And are you okay down there, Spring? I know you haven't been with me for very long. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and check out Finball's house now. And uh, you guys just need to work out who won between you and uh, put down a sign and let me know. And then I put down a sign to say that you're employee of the month. And uh, we need to be careful, by the way, Finball, because it is night time and there are going to be googlies about. It looks like the sun is just about to rise, but uh, they are going to be around for just a little bit longer. Right, let's go check out your house. Uh, you should probably, like, give me the tour, by the way, Finball, because I have no idea where your house is. I've literally seen nothing of it, so I have no idea. And, oh, is that it there? Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is, looks, like, all fancy and modern. Oh, this is kind of cool. What does this say here? Welcome to Finball's. Ooh, oh, and it's got cake as well. <laughs> is this for me? <laughs> Did you know that I was coming? We got, oh, we've got some glass in the furnace, a nice sandstone counter there. Are you okay? Oh no, come over here, Spring. Get away from the cactus. No, come sit down. Finn will come. No, stay away from hit the target's house as well. You do not want to be going in there. <laughs> you might have bad memories of being in there before. Go and have some pork chops and behave. Do you want to come sit in Finball's house for a bit? Stay away from the cacti. This is quite a nice fancy house. He's got a nice chest down here full of all of his stuff, full of some cake down there. Oh, and a basement. Oh, what's down here? Ooh, this is very nice and colourful. He's got his widescreen TV there with his surround sound. His nice little on-off button. And what's he got through here? I think he's extending it even further. Oh, this looks awesome, Finball. I like it. I like it a lot. I think he's not quite finished it yet, but it's already looking good. And he's got his own little garden down here. He's got a nice little barbecue there. He's got his own melons growing and his little bench. It's kind of funny having hit the target's, like, horrible evil fortress there. And then the really nice house directly next to it. <laughs> anyway, it's time to go back and uh, check on the people in the competition and see uh, how well they're doing. So uh, if you follow me, Spring, uh, we can go back. Is Spring following me or I told him to sit down? Here he is. He's following me. Stay away from the cactus, Spring. Do not go in the cactus. I know what dogs are like. <laughs> Any situation in which they could hurt themselves, they always take it. Has Ang managed to get back in the game? Oh, I don't think Ang was able to get back in the game. Uh, I, I don't know if he's lagging or what, what's going on. Let me go send him another invite because I think he had very almost won. He seemed to almost have enough of the stuff. Oh, I hate Xbox Live. Oh, no, he's gone. It looks like Ank's lagged out. Right, Finball, tag team, you need to carry on. You need to carry on where Ank left off. You'll see a sign in the front of your pen. You need to get everything that's written down on that sign in order to win. Uh, let's see how Amy's doing. What does she need? She needs three cactus blocks. Uh, she's only got one. Um, she needs every different type of tree. She's missing one. She's missing an oak tree, uh, I believe. Um, one pumpkin. She's got the pumpkin. Uh, one melon. She's got the melon. Uh, how much neverwort has she got? So she needs um, six pieces of neverwort. How much has she got down here then? Uh, she's got... She's only got the three. I think that one is growing, but she still only has the three. I think this could actually be close. Even though Ank started it and Finball's carrying on, I think Ank was doing pretty well. Have any of them got any bone meal left, though? That's the question. It should go a lot quicker now. Because it's the day, uh, things should be grown a lot quicker. But I think all Ank needs are these um, these two trees to grow. I think he's got his never warp there. Uh, you should probably break those off, Finball, and put the next ones back down, I reckon. Um, but th this is pretty close. Though. This is quite exciting. I wasn't sure whether I was going to like this game at first. But now they've been playing, for it, um, playing it for a while, it's starting to grow on me uh -huh, if you get what i mean <laughs> anyway i don't know whether uh, we're gonna we are gonna have time to see who wins because ank lagged out uh, i think it would be uh, kind of unfair so what i might do is i might put down a sign and just say that they are all of the employees of the month because uh, ank lagged out i think it would be uh, unfair to say that he didn't win so if i just come in here uh get the sign and we can have three employees of the month. <laughs> there we go. The, the three employees that we have are all the employees of the month. I think that's the fairest way to do it. So if I just do... Uh, um, uh, that's wrong. Employees <laughs> of... Is this going to fit in? No. I, I do that again. Employees of da <laughs> month. 
And there we go. Then they can all be the employees of the month. Sorry that we didn't get to do the game properly. I think it was quite a, like, quite a cool, fun game. But uh, unfortunately, he did manage to... He did lag out. And are you okay, Spring? Are you all right? No, Spring. Spring, are you okay? Where is he? Spring? No, he hasn't gone, has he? Spring? Oh, you scared me then, Spring. You do not do that to me. You do not... <laughs> I think Spring cried wolf then. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to bother writing down the sign. I'll do that after the video. He's okay. He's all right. Have you done it, Amy? Have you managed to get all of this stuff? Or have you just given up because you all got employee of the month? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think any of them quite got that. I think they both got close, uh, but they did run out of time. So I will add down a sign uh, putting them all as the employee of the month. But we have just about uh, run out of time in this video. So in my next video... I'm going to be going back over to my fun land and building another game. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to build yet, uh, but I'm going to decide at some point between now and then. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you all later. Bye!